Okay, here we go. This is Matti analyzing the game. Trying to add a little bit how I think also you can see I I put always the piece of paper on the table where I try to hit where I try to land the cue ball. Actually I try to land it always always like leaning on the paper so I can pick it up afterwards so but if it's over that that's <laughs> if the cue ball stops on the paper that's good too and okay here we cross the line so we have to be really accurate because we cross the line and if we don't have if we don't have their good cue ball speed we end up difficult shot. Okay, now we try to land straight to the tree so we can roll to the four. But as you can see, I have a little bit angle and I try to be close to the, uh, the, the problem here is the six ball. So I, I want to, the five ball is uh, near the middle pocket so I try to bump the 13 6 separate and leave it to the 5 that's my plan that's what I was planning and now when I get like when I had that kind of angle I have to go a lot, quite a lot soft speed and a lot of inside and it was hard shot to make that 3 ball and land nice angle to the tree and here I I have to play this way because the six is blocked so it's the only way this rotation you have to many times you have to find a way to play the only way so I try to hit one rail to the slightly like uh, to the six first and then 13 if I hit the six first then I can probably have without interfering ball the shot to the five without interfere ball. Uh, there's a little bit chance to get behind the 15 here also. But really good shot needed. Okay, I couldn't hit the six first, so now I have to shoot over the ball. Okay, the problem is not making the five, but uh, to get into the six is the problem. It's too thick to hit over the ball and get in. So I cover on the 9 so I can hit the 15 and get to the 6. I made the 9 also and hit the 15 full in face. But now it's really easy. Easy layout. I only need 6, 7, 8, 10 for the win. So now just roll this ball without side spin I maybe should use touch of outside like the little touch of right right spin there to make sure I land good good on the seven I didn't use it I just should like without side spin and that's why I end up end up too thin to the seven you see the piece of paper where I want it. Now I got angle and the 10 is blocking to the 8 to the corner. So I play, I try to hit this softly and thinly hit the 15. So I thinly hit the, hit the 15 and then thinly to the 13 and roll bump to the from the rail to the position to the 8. But I didn't get the thinly enough hit to the 13 so I end up against the almost against the rail so this is missable because I'm on the rail I have to be careful not to of course I should make this every time but nobody to do, do when 
when you're shooting from the cushion. And now the 10 is enough. I really like it that I really like it because uh, the six bow was real problem and I even I didn't get right angle to the tree I was able to make the run out. Rotation you have to play precise cue ball control or you cannot get out and with this piece of paper you have to play even more because it looks so bad if you and and, and and it's it's good practice this is good practice like it really put you focus on the target where you want to cue ball and first it's really hard to focus like one point but after for a while it, it gives you like good target where you can hit. It was a nice break. I hit it a little bit right side. I tried to land the cue ball on that piece of paper from the break too. <laughs> so if I hit it like full in face and a little bit jump, it should stop near that paper. The two ball is open to the top right corner also. But it's quite tight. These pockets are tight uh, and the 10 ball is blocking like half inch of the pocket. So I prefer to shoot in this in front to the middle. I think because I will not go that kind of shot I can get behind the ball. Like now I can get behind the shoot over the seven and behind the tree but rolling the ball this kind of way it's like you have really good sense of speed if you shoot a shot like this that's why I choose this shot and I shoot that perfect now there is 4 12 13 combination but I have to get get for it and the tree ball is not open those top top pockets there corner pocket so I roll the two ball and try to leave the three ball three ball uh, straight in or near straight in to that corner low left corner pocket that then I can like draw back two cushion to the four ball That's my goal. <coughs> okay. <laughs> now the piece of paper is a little bit stop at the cue ball, so it end up short and I get wrong angle because of that. Now the paper was like giving me a bad roll, but if you play with that, that happens sometimes. It was just stopping and it stopped it slightly, slightly too fast. Now I have angle, I have angle that kind of way. If I draw the ball, it's going like between the 10 and pocket. So I probably could carom the cue ball to the corner. I have to try to shoot this like the really thick thick side of the pocket so and I did I shoot the middle of the pocket so I scratch yeah if I hit the thick side of the pocket I could uh, sl slightly bump to the 10 that will be okay and if I don't hit the 10 at all I will I, I could get like straight into the combination I'm not sure I think that was maybe too risky to try that, that maybe I should just take harder shot for the combination. I'm not sure. Uh, hmm. 
if I have to think it again, then I think like if I don't know even now what is the right shot, I think that's just the matter of opinion then. Okay, one one. Ah, oh, now I hit nice break. The key will stop it on the paper. <laughs> Uh, many times if I hit perfect break and get uh, if I get really good like almost like ball in hand position I I then try to run out from there because this is like the same you you can make the same situation here than ball in hand so I I continue here just to add, add a little bit challenge even more So I try to go there. Now I can choose, will I go like without side spin, one rail towards the eight and leave it to the four. And I try to get, you, you see where I try to get. So I try to get there so I could uh, stun the cue ball to other side of the table and shoot the five ball to the uh, right and uh, left, top left pocket. Corner, top left corner pocket. So I decide to go two rail with lot of side spin and try to try to spin this cue ball around. Uh, I didn't have the guts there to go. If I wanted wanted to cue ball go that paper, I have to be close. The cue ball have to travel closer to the four when it's going into the rail. So that was a little bit mistake. Now I can't get good. The six ball is again the problem. Six eleven is the problem. That's why I, I like. That's what I was planning all the time. Now, so now I I try to get the cue ball with a piece of paper. So I have to use hard shot, a little bit low and a lot of left, a lot of right. And. I can't reach it good, so I have to sh shoot it bridge. If I can get the cue ball on the paper, then I could go one rail between the six, eleven, and that, that rail. Like and I could also like if the angle is not really good, then I could like bump the six or eleven something. I went way too far, so. I have a little bit cut to the right side now, and now I'm off angle. So the six and eleven, I I check here if I could shoot Karam there where I where, where I'm standing now, where the cue ball is now. Is that good, Karam? And I think it's way too difficult. It's almost unplayable. So so I try to go to the position for the six two rails and try to leave the position to shoot the uh, between the I think it's 13 and 14 I try to go between the 13 and 14 two rails and there where the paper is so if I slightly hit if I slightly bump the 13 I could still end up decent to the 6 uh, I try to shoot that like without side spin and I get uh, or a really little right spin and I, I get quite a lot right spin and it it, it made me made the cue ball hit, go towards the 30. Okay now I'm hooked really badly. I just try to find the kick shot what gives me bet, best chance to get lucky because I'm really bad shape. So I try to get the three rail hidden there where the cue, where the, I try to hit that, that kind of way. I hit in three rails and shoot, hit, hit the six. So it coming to the corner pocket. And if I hit it the other side, it could bump the 12 in, it could hit the eight ball and, and go to the, from the eight and go to the side, it could bump the ten or eight in. It could and a lot of 
could happen, good things can happen. But the main thing is what is like, I know I don't gonna make it because I had to use a lot of right and the Q, Q stick is deflecting to the right from the hit. So I, I had easily make missed foul. As you can see, I, the Q, because I have to use a lot of right spin, the Q deflect from the ball to the right, and that's... <laughs> I'm cursing on finish. 2-1 <laughs> one behind and race to 3. So now I have to run two racks in the row if I want to win. I play a couple of race to three sets earlier and I lost always like one three something like that because I was it was it's really hard to play if you're using that piece of paper you can try it for yourself but it put you after for a while it put you more focused mode I, I, I noticed nice break again I almost made to the piece of paper as it as you can see if I get the cue ball around there I get good shots to the one ball <coughs> now the two ball is <laughs> that kind of way I cannot I can only make it on the one pocket straight everything else is blocked like just barely <laughs> <laughs> I started to be annoying because it feels like unfair. I, I get so difficult startups. Okay, I, I play one cushion and try to hit the 12 full in face. So the cue ball stops there straight into the side pocket. I didn't hit full in face, but it's still okay. Now, the main thing is where I shoot the four, where I shoot the four, and you can you can use the process of eliminating. You you see the four ball is not open here, this low corner pocket. So I have to leave the angle to the three ball. That kind of way I can go come this side of the table. And now it's quite natural. I have big area of uh, margin of freedom if I shoot this shot like this. As you can see, I didn't get that on the paper, but it's still good. Even I just had like huge area. I have like one meter or something like that, three feet area where to land on the pole. So if you play smart, you don't have to play so accurate, like that piece of paper, but sometimes you have to play really accurate cue ball control. Now I could roll this, and but then I have to tin the six and there's always... So I decide to draw it between the 10 and 15, trying to get it like quite full shot. I would like to have that little bit Ticker, but it's okay. Now I'm thinking like this is maybe not the best way. I could just roll and leave the seven and leave, leave the cue ball near that end cushion. But I I try to be fancy here. And, uh, that's what happens when you play fancy. <laughs> I try to play on the piece of paper. Then I have like low left, really easy position that I can't miss to the eight. But I, I was trusting too much to myself, so now I'm bad shape. Okay, nice. Nice draw. But of course I draw too much and now I can I can shoot the right spin, like extreme right. I can shoot the extreme right, but so I don't have to shoot the over the ball. And if I shoot over the ball, I cannot get I cannot shoot the low, so I cannot get to the 10. So what I decided to do is like 2 o'clock, 
three rails to the ten, left-handed. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, this is not bad shot if you are shooting with right hand, but left-handed it's not so easy. Uh, and I hit it a little bit too, t uh, too thin, that's why the cue ball traveled way too much. If I w went to fat side of the pocket, the cue ball would be on the paper, or really close to that. Now you have to just cut this in to make it 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> I'm just checking if I have time. So it's like 22 minutes gone. So I had like 31 minutes time before I have to reset the camera. It's the memory card. It's it doesn't take any more place than four gigabytes. So it's 31 minutes of this full HD HD picture. Okay, now hill hill. Get that cue ball on that paper from the break. Okay. If I hit it perfect, it will come the same route as I saw. So Bad, bad break, but but I get pretty good layout. One, two, three, everything, and four, and five, and six. <coughs> everything is on open, so I was lucky there. Many times, if you don't hit it good on the rotation, then you get really difficult layouts. So if you wanna play rotation ghost and you don't break good, you you don't have a chance. You get so messy layouts; it's unreal. Now. I'm using the way of eliminating, like I put the paper where I want and then I try to find the best shot how I can get there. <laughs> best way to get there. I think this is the best way to get there. Okay, there is nothing too much to tell, like I don't wanna, the straight in is better too, but of the straight in is really good too where I, am now it's good good enough but if I leave too much angle to the tree that is bad so I try to get just a little bit angle to the tree and I think this is even better than where the paper is <laughs> actually <coughs> Right now, I clo go quite close to the 15, but I'm positive I can uh, I can shoot this safely. I I don't get behind the 15. Like it's it's really easy. Only thing is like I had to use the bridge. I just used little bit left spin to make sure I don't get behind the 15. And that is. <laughs> <coughs> and that's left was too much that's why I get it like if I hit that speed and towards the 15 I will be perfect now I'm on the problem I have to take hit to the 15 now I just have to because it's quite thin I have to try try to hit the 15 thinly on this left side <laughs> And then slow enough so it won't go behind the seven. Okay, I hit it quite full. It's good. <coughs> the seven is not open. Either corner pocket. So I had combinations, but now I have to play the seven fifteen combination. 
and I'm a little bit worried about the how to get nine to the eight to the nine. I didn't realize I don't need the nine ball yet. I don't re realize that because I made already like I think I made thirteen already, and if I make the fifteen, so I don't need the nine. Then eight is like seven, fifteen, eight is enough for the win. Now it's quite straight in combination. Like when I, if I stop the seven, should cut the fifteen a little bit to, and make the fifteen. Nice. Okay. Now I I I play co <laughs> that kind of way. I could draw back. Get to the eight. That kind of way, I can draw back to the nine. And if I don't, if I won't be draw back and hit the nine, if I can't do that, then I take the bank to the nine. So I try to play more difficult position because I don't know the score. If I just know know like the, I use quite a lot in side spin there, but I didn't get the right angle. So now I can't hit the nine. And then I start to like notice why wait a second, wait a second, what is the score? I start counting. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe it. <laughs> the eight ball is winning ball. It feels good. I I just continue for fun. I shoot the bank and try to get position to the ten from the eleven carom. Okay, quite perfect. Yeah, now I get a little bit faster pace. I try to go two rails, two rails. Then I notice like it's easier to go follow two rails. Like the twelve is open to that low right corner pocket two. I almost missed this. It's those are tight pockets, so you have to go. <laughs> Precise. <coughs> oh. Okay. That's w that was rotation ghost with <laughs> with piece of paper. But I think that that gives you <laughs> gives you like good how I think where I try to play that kind of stuff. <laughs> 